everybody. How is everybody doing today? Here's our card we're going to make. Or something similar. Hey, Dibby. So, we're going to play with the gilded leafing that's in the... Um, January to June mini catalog. You know, I really have to think about the words that are going to come out of my mouth because, yeah, I want to call it a spring catalog. <laughs> Look, Christy, it's not as hard as I thought it was. So, okay, let me tell you a little story. I wanted to play with the gilded leafing. This is the gilded leafing. It comes in this little container. I put it in this gigantic container. Because you, you have to. You have to do something with it. You have to keep it contained. Okay? So, I wanted to play with the gilded leafing last night. And so it kind of, it appears in the catalog, there's heat and stick powder. So, I do have to say, Sandra Hernandez is not a fan of the heat and stick powder. I cannot make it work. So, I thought I knew what I was doing. You do it like you do an embossing powder, and it's supposed to be sticky, and then you're supposed to put the gilded leafing on it, and it's supposed to be beautiful. So I have some examples of the not-so-beautiful things that I made last night. It just kind of, I don't know, it went everywhere. I suppose I could put a sentiment on there, and somebody would think it was beautiful. Then here I put some on the DSP, but it just didn't come out with the wow that I thought it was going to. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. So, what do we do when we don't know what we're doing? Or we need some instructions. We go to Google. And, oh, actually, I went to YouTube. And so I went to YouTube and I found this lady. Well, thank you, Christy. I went, found this lady that was talking about the gilded leafing. And she said, all you need is adhesive. You can use any kind of adhesive. So we'll play with it more in the future. But one of her suggestions was to use tear and tape. So that's what I did. I just made lines with tear and tape. Let me show you how I did this. Um, I used um, Blackberry Bliss and Petal Pink. I think they're pretty together. And the gold. And so um, this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to use um, the, t I'm going to put the tear and tape right on the Blackberry Bliss. Huh. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So let's talk about this stuff. Um, I'm going to get my craft mat because tear and tape is sticky. I'm going to get it if I can find it. There it is. And at least this way it won't stick all over my paper. Okay. So yeah, the lady was smart. I'm not smart. This late other lady was. I don't remember her name. I'm so horrible. I should remember her name. And I should give her all the credit in the world. But I don't remember. So, you know, you can tear tear and tape. Because that's what it's for. But it really does tear pretty easy. But I'm going to cut it with my scissors today. Because I'm feeling froggy. So in my kitchen right now, I have cinnamon rolls rising. Okay, so I made cinnamon rolls the other day. and Because I learned how to make them at my mom's. And I have to say, my mom is like a pro, and I am not. Mine were not nearly as good as my mama's. And I think maybe it was because I didn't get the yeast right. They call it proofing, right? At the beginning of your cinnamon rolls, you got to get the yeast to start doing what yeast does. Well, I don't think mine did that, because I don't think my house was warm enough. So today, my house is warm, and I was making other things on the stove, so the kitchen was nice and warm. 
So I proofed my yeast and off I go to make cinnamon rolls. They are rising in the pan right now to be put in the oven. They're going to be more delicious than the last ones, I think. I'm also making, you would think that I'm like Susie Homemaker and I'm not. I mean, like, I can cook. Most of the time I just choose not to. Um, I'm also making chicken and dumplings from, like, scratch. Like, I bought a whole chicken. Well, I bought a whole chicken because it was cheap at Publix. <laughs> and then I bought, um, I made, I made the dumplings. They're just sitting there. They're ready to be put in. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to make chicken and dumplings and finish off them cinnamon rolls. And I will let you know. And if you hear my stomach growling, just ignore that. I think I want a piece right in the tiny little corner. <laughs> Proof their dough in the instant. Well, I don't have an instant pot, so there you go. I wouldn't even, well, I don't know how to use an instant pot. <clears throat> so there's that. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to trim these edges because I left this piece just a tiny bit bigger than I wanted it to be. And so, yeah, I'm probably going to make a mess. Oh, I got to get this edge first. So I can get it lined up at the top. Okay. Let's see. I want this one to be four. Oh, look, it comes up pretty easy. That's good. Five and a quarter. This is easier than the last time I did it. I tried to do it with my scissors. That doesn't work out so great. But look, that's that's awesome. Do it that way. <laughs> that's kind of cool just with the stripes on there. Hey, it's not going to stay that way. I'm a true southerner. Yeah, I'm not though. I was born in Virginia. I grew up in New Mexico. I'm a transplanted southerner. Okay, so let's get these pieces off and make this tear and tape sticky and then hope for the best I haven't done look blackberry bliss I haven't done this on the blackberry bliss so I'm hoping that it turns out and I'm not embarrassed when we get to that point anyway so it's kind of chilly here and more. I took my Christmas decorations down. Now my house looks empty. I've been a busy lady today. Okay. The moment, the moment of truth. Is everybody ready? Okay. Gilded leafing is messy. Um, it's not as messy as um, brushos. You remember brushos? Okay. Here's the thing. You don't want to no, know <laughs> no sudden movements. Like be careful when you pop the top off. Did you see that? Um, be careful when you pull the top off. You don't want a ceiling fan going. You don't want your space heater going. Not that it's going to catch on fire, but with the air moving, yeah, it's just bad juju. You don't want it. This stuff is just like fly away. Okay, ready? So now my tear tape's all sticky. Moment of truth. Just lay it down in there. Look, isn't it beautiful? Okay, so the next step you can do with your fingers and just brush most of this off. Oh, this is gonna be really pretty on this uh, Blackberry Bliss. So yeah, your fingers work great just for this part. If you're a neat freak, you probably don't wanna do this. Just saying. I'm not. I can get messy. 
and it's okay. Okay, so there, most of it's off. And the tear and tape's not sticky anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little brush. You can use whatever kind of brush you've got. This is from the dollar store, I'm sure. So you're just going to clean it up with your little brush. You see? It's just cleaning up all those edges. Getting all that extra off. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it from there. How pretty it is. <laughs> I think the lady last night was using a toothbrush. So, you can probably use a paintbrush or a whatever brush you've got. This one might could be a little bit... Um, stiffer and it would still be okay might get a little bit more of the stuff off okay so you just do that as long as you want i suppose <laughs> to get all of the extra off but i think i'm happy with that Woo! did you see that almost made a mess all right there we go here is another tip from her to me to you. Have a wet microfiber cloth because you see all that gold leafing was sticky on me. It's gone. So just have a wet, a damp. Look, it doesn't want to go back. Go, go home. Okay, so let's put the lid back on here quickly or slowly. No sudden movements. You want to see it on Petal Pink. Okay, one moment. Let me find a Petal Pink piece. We'll put it on. You, you want to see the gold on the Petal Pink? Is that what you want, Christy? I lost my tear and tape. Oh, let's do this. It's going to be all sticky. Just put a couple pieces here in the corner. See now now we're gonna get all sticky. Because I'm gonna just trim it off. Okay. Slowly. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty on the petal pink. I imagine you could do it on any color. Right? Use your imagination. There you go, Christy Gurienti. There it is on Petal Pink. I think I like the contrast of the Blackberry Bliss a little bit better. That didn't say that the Petal Pink wasn't pretty. So I tried it. Tiffany, you missed my story at the beginning. So I wanted to play with this stuff last night. So I tried it with a heat and stick. And I will show you. Here are my examples of what it did with the heat and stick. I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't the effect I was looking for. And I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look. I thought there would be more. I don't know. Maybe it was the stamps I was using. And here it is on the DSP. I just put the little pieces on the DSP. So maybe that is what it's supposed to look like. But it wasn't. It didn't flip my skirt. So... Anyway, 
So the lady on the video said you can use any adhesive. She even used Tombow. So she would take these little flowers and put a little bit of Tombow glue on there and then sit it over to the side and wait for a little while. And then when it became, you know, kind of dried, then she put the gold leafing on the top. It was really pretty. So I'll try that later, but right now I'm going to finish this card. So I'm going to make a sentiment to put on here. At least I think I am. Because I think, I, yes, I did have everything all laid out. So I'm going to use the Pretty Perennials stamp set, which is in the um, January to June mini catalog. Um, and I am going to make this one say sending you lots of happy because I just think it's funny I don't know cute it doesn't have to stay happy anything right sending you lots of happy I just re-inked this hmm, because it was a little bit dry so now it's not a little bit dry at all yeah Tiffany I don't know what it is about the heat and stick I don't I don't know of course, there's no directions, so I don't know. Sending lots of happy. Okay, I'm going to get the petal pink, and I'm going to stamp a couple flowers. And I'm going to stamp a couple flowers on the bottom. And then I'm going to add the, is it an outline? I can't take myself too seriously when I do this because it's probably not going to line up all that great. But it's just kind of an accent. I guess you can be as picky about it as you want to be because it's your card. Ooh, just put my thumb in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put these... Oh, let me layer it first. It's easier to do it this way. Um, I'm going to layer this on my petal pink piece. And then I'm going to attach it to my card with some dimensionals. I get to throw this sheet away. Does anybody else get like, I, I just say happy when you use something up. It doesn't matter what it is. I just like finishing things. Ta-da, it's in the trash. Maybe it's just me. I'm just silly that way. Okay, let's, okay. First, let me close the Blackberry Bliss ink because it is relentless. And once it gets on you, it's hard to get off. Okay. Close those. Put those away. I'm going to put this whoop, right side up. Right there. I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add a piece of white. Yep. I'm going to add a piece of white. I'm pretty sure it's Whisper White. I haven't got to Basic White yet. It's pretty. It's a brighter white. But I haven't used all my Whisper White yet. Okay, and then I'm going to layer it onto the Petal Pink. <laughs> I know. Isn't it silly? We're so silly. Oh, look. It's the end of the roll. I've been waiting for that. Look, I get to throw two things away. Okay, so here, let's let's learn how to change this. So here I've got my new stamp and seal. Okay, so this is the way Sandra does it because I don't want to forget. I lay I lay this one down. Oh, let me give you a tip about um, ink on your fingers. I lay this one down just the way this one is gonna come out. Okay, so that way we don't mess it up. So this one goes out and in the trash. And then this one just lays right down in there. 
Okay, so there's that. All right, so let's layer this on my petal pink. Oh, this is a pretty card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretty, pretty card. Should do that from the other side. Look at that. We did good. I am going to add a little, um, I'm going to add these. What are these? These are pastel pearls. These are also in the January to June mini catalog. There you go. That's a pretty card. Look at the difference in them. Okay, so, um, lava soap. If you get ink on yourself, ink on your hands, lava soap. If you get ink on your clothes, lava soap. I know it sounds crazy, um, and I'm not sure what it is that's in the lava soap that, um, works so well, but it really does, um, uh, if you can find it. I used to get it at Walmart, but now they don't have it anymore, but I think you can get it at, like, AutoZone or auto part stores. I'm sure you can order it online. But anyway, so there you go. We played with the gold leafing a little bit and I will play with it a little bit more, but I just wanted to do that with you today. So I hope you like my card. Um, thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today. I'll let you know on my Facebook page how the cinnamon rolls are and how the chicken and dumplings are because I'm just Susie Homemaker today. My name's not Susie. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Paula. I will um, talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today. And if you use the gold leafing on anything, I'd love to see it. You could share it on my page. Thanks so much. I will see you guys later.